a decision on whether or not uh, there should be a second Dutch referendum will largely be influenced by an opinion to be given uh, by the uh, uh, van Staat. So we have to see what uh, kind of content will be the core of the matter when this uh, new treaty will be uh, uh, handled over to the van Staat and then we'll see. But it's up to the Dutch to decide, not to the others. You made a very passionate plea in favor of the European Union today. Do you think that that's extra necessary here in the Netherlands? I th do think that this is uh, uh, necessary everywhere. Here in Limburg, less than in other parts of uh, the Netherlands, in Luxembourg, less than in parts of uh, neighboring France. But I do think that uh, uh, we have to uh, underline what uh, kind of success is have been made possible by the European integration and by the Euro, for, uh, for instance. It's uh, uh, fair to correct, uh, to, to, to criticize the European Union on so many weaknesses and uh, wrong behaviors, but uh, we have good arguments uh, to advocate strongly a deepening of the European integration, taking into account that, of course, national identities have to be respected, taking into account, of course, that uh, nation states uh, cannot be uh, uh, eradicated from the European uh, landscape. Uh, Europe is, uh, uh, has become strong and has become diverse because we have strong nations. It's not our intention to, uh, to drop away uh, strong and proud uh, nation state, but we have to act uh, together in a real European uh, spirit. It, 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 it is clear here today that the Netherlands is willing to accept a different treaty on the future of the European Union, maybe not being called constitution, yet your country and 17 others have already ratified the constitution. Uh, you held a summit together with Spain with the friends of the constitution. What can come out of that in terms of a conclusion so far? It was necessary that those having ratified the treaty uh, had to make clear what were the reasons why they did ratify the treaty. Spain and Luxembourg, by the way, via referendum, the others by uh, parliamentary uh, ways. It, this was not a meeting against uh, the Netherlands. I clearly said today that we have to act together, not against uh, the Netherlands, but our Dutch friends uh, have to explain to those having said yes what kind of changes should be brought to the uh, draft treaty in order to make this treaty uh, become uh, more acceptable uh, for the Dutch citizens. Do you think it would be a, a very big problem for the countries that have yet said yes so far if the Netherlands forces changing to what you've agreed already? It's obvious that those having ratified the treaty, mainly those having done this by referendum, will not accept any uh, dramatic change to the treaty. We have to agree on the substantial elements of the treaty, maybe that we have to explain them they, uh, them in a, in a different way. Maybe that we have to add some parts to the uh, draft treaty because our Dutch friends would like us to add some nuances, some restrictions maybe uh, to the treaty. But uh, you have to understand that those having said yes will not uh, uh, take all the Dutch point of views on, on board, but some of them. But the Dutch have to take some of our opinions on board too. Finally, you were here 15 years ago in this very building on the same day, signing the Treaty of Maastricht. How do you look back at that? I had the impression when signing this treaty that I was uh, signing an important uh, treaty. Without this Maastricht Treaty, which has uh, brought the name of this city uh, throughout the world, uh, enlargement of the European Union and European uh, continent-wide reconciliation would not have been possible. We wouldn't have the Euro. We would uh, still stay with our weak national currency because uh, they would have been submitted to so many external shocks they would have been unable to resist uh, to. So I'm always happy when I'm back in this uh, uh, beautiful city of, uh, of Maastricht because here we started real important things. Mr. Juncker, thank you very okay. much for your time. Yeah. Don't say